What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I have for you a customizing slash tutorial slash how to slash fix up video for you guys. And today, we're going to be taking Seth Freakin' Rollins, one of my favorite superstars, one of my favorite guys to watch inside the ring. We're going to take the 2019 Seth Freakin' Rollins, the Beast Slayer, and turn him into the Monday Night Messiah or the 2020 Seth Freakin' Rollins. So, I have everything here today, guys. We're going to go through the tutorial. It's going to be, it's going to kind of, it's, yeah. Not quite vomit that time. It's going to kind of be like action figure surgery, but we're only going to be working on one figure. So I figure don't do a surgery video. We might as well just make it one video, show you guys how to take your regular 2019 Seth Rollins and turn him into the 2020 Monday Night Messiah as we know him right now. Obviously, Seth Rollins has aligned himself with the AOP and they're running rampant on Monday Night Raw. And today we're going to be converting Seth Rollins into what he looks like today on Monday Night Raw and kind of, you know, customize him, flip him around a little bit, use some different parts. And I'm going to show you guys exactly exactly the process how to do so so if you guys want to do the same thing with your Seth Rollins you can do it for yourselves so with that being said ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and get started so what we have right here we have my 2019 Wrestlemania 35 Rollins with the Universal Championship this is all nice and dandy but you know what it's out of date right so we're going to slide him out of the way and now we're going to be taking our top talents 2018 Elite Seth Rollins which is this right here and there's a few ways you can do this you know uh, we have Akam and Razor right here we're going to go ahead and get them on either side that's a cool little shot so we have Seth Rollins. This is the 2018 Top Talents Elite. Very good figure because it looks just like how Rollins looks today on Monday Night Raw. I think it's his 2019 SummerSlam attire that was mainly black. It had like, uh, you know, the shiny parts to it. It's got like a SR logo on the kick pads and stuff. So the way to, you know, get his 2020 attire, to make that attire, all you have to do is switch out this knee pad for a firm black knee pad and I have this right here we're going to switch out this knee pad for a black knee pad and not only that we are going to be doing a few other things as you guys know currently right now he is wearing hand tape on his left hand I'm going to make that optional for you if you want to do that you can do that if you don't want to do that you can you know choose to leave that out but we do know that he wears a gloved right hand so I am going to show you guys how to do that but the figures you're going to need to create this or make this stuff happen is going to be obviously your main portion your top talents 2018 Seth Rollins Elite you're going to also need a Elite 64 Seth Rollins, so this one right here with the, uh, you know, the Royal Rumble Creator Wrestler Superstar Flames freaking Burn It Down attire. And then you can, you know, you can use a couple different head sculpts. Actually, you could use three. I don't want to necessarily use the smiley head sculpt. You know, he turned heel again, thank God, and he's a lot better as a heel unless he's, you know, putting on great wrestling matches. He gets pretty boring as a face if he's not, you know, burning it down with title matches and stuff like that. So he's better off as a heel, right? And, you know, if you're smiling and shit, you know, it looks terrible. We don't want the smiley face freaking Seth Rollins. We want the pissed off look. So I'm going to give you guys two different head sculpts to use. You can use the Elite 37, which you could, you know, paint the black hair if you wanted to. You could paint that black to, you know, give him the full black hair. This will probably be a little bit better, but if you want more of a more accurate, true effects, you know, uh, not quite smiling, not quite, you know, uh, happiness Rollins, you could ditch the Elite 37. It's going to be what way more, you know, uh, detailed. It's going to be more accurate if you use the basic 102 head sculpt for Seth Rollins, which is probably what I'm going to do here today. I'm going to use this Rollins, which is uh, very cheap right now on Amazon. I think you could e even find it at Walmart. You can get it on Ringside, I do believe. Using promo code MDTOYS, I think you can pick up all of these figures, but go over there and save some money. Pick up these figures if you want to make a 2020 Seth Rollins, but we're going to use this head sculpt. I think it will be best, but I did want to give you guys a couple options if you guys, uh, you know, didn't have this one or you don't have that one. You know, you can uh, pick whichever one. I mean, you could even use this one if you wanted. Who the hell cares? I mean, you could even use, you know, his, his Elite 57 head sculpt, the SummerSlam head sculpt, whatever. You could use the Screaming head sculpt from Elite 52. Just sort of personal preference, but for my personal opinion, I'm going to use the nice basic 102. So we have our interchangeable black knee pad for the right pad. We have our head sculpt that we want to use. We have the arms that we want to use. And now we're going to get into the money team part. God in heaven about to knock the damn camera over. But for interchangeable hands, guys, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using interchangeable hands. I think this came with the Elite 63 cane. I can't remember if it's Elite 63 cane. Maybe it's the Elite WrestleMania 36 Booker T right there for the gloved hand. We also have the pointing finger that also came with Booker T, I think. And then we also have the 
fists. So we have three different interchangeable hands for that right arm or right hand. And then for the left one, you can either use, you know, a basic bare hand or you can, you know, use this taped up hand that I think came with, I don't know who the hell it came with, but you have that skin tone and you have the Dolph Ziggler skin tone. Whichever one's more accurate or whichever one is more, you know, it matches the skin tone of Seth Rollins, you can use that one. So we have different interchangeable hands for the left and right hand. That way we can get that glove look and the look of Seth Rollins. But now that we get into it, guys, let's go ahead and go through the surgery of the part switches that we're going to be doing. So our first order of business, guys, is going to be switching the arms. Now, this actually is a little bit optional. You don't necessarily have to have the Elite 64 Rollins, but for me and my sake, I do want to switch out the arms because he doesn't have the SRs on the wristbands. At least uh, I haven't noticed it. He may have it. Who, 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 who the hell knows? I want to make it where the SR logos are not on the wrist. So we are actually going to switch his arms with the Elite 64 arms. Not paint over it, not acetone. I'd rather just switch the arms so you don't have to paint or none of that bull crap. We're going to switch the arms of these figures. We're not only going to do that, but we're going to pop the head off of this and also put on the basic 102 head sculpt. And then we are going to pop the lower legs off so that we can interchange this knee pad and put Put on the blank or black knee pad and then we'll interchange the hands and it will be a very easy fix up to update our Seth Rollins to make him the Monday Night Messiah. So we have our trusty white hair dryer that we use for all of our action figure surgery and we're going to go ahead and get started on this thing. I think the first thing we can do is heat up the arms and we may actually be able to heat up the head sculpt at the same time. We'll just have to you know play that by ear and everything. I do want to get all these interchangeable things out of the way. So we are going to put this here. Go ahead and get the camera tilted up so you guys can see what we're doing so we got our top talents elite now we're going to take our elite 64 put his arms up right here and we are going to interchange these arms hopefully you know there's no bullshit going on with that um i'd rather the this head sculpt be on this side so that we can you know get the uh you know what I'm saying? Get that head heated up. And then I'm going to put this head right here so we can interchange that all. Then all we have to do is interchange the lower legs. But anyways, let's go ahead, shut the hell up, and hit this hair dryer. All right, guys, here we go. Should be relatively simple. I'm going to try and get all this on camera so you guys can see. So we're going to pop the right arm off right there, left arm like that. The left one's super loosey-goosey. But, uh, oh, God, this, this one's super loosey-goosey as well. But we got that off, and we're going to pop the right arm over here, and then the left arm, same deal, nothing too crazy. Go ahead and pop that over there. And then the head sculpt. This head sculpt is actually pretty difficult. I actually, I, I highly recommend that you use boiling water instead of a hair dryer because this head sculpt will snap on you so freaking easy, Brad. Like it's not even, it's not even freaking funny. So uh, what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to heat that up some more. I won't show you guys so it won't get a little, you know, whatever. So the, yeah, just, just, yeah, let's just pop it off. So when you're popping off that uh, that Top Talents head scan, guys, be very careful. Again, this head sculpt is very difficult to get off without tearing the head sculpt or breaking the shoulders or the neck right there or snapping that neck peg. So you want to be very careful on that. But now we're going to pop on the basic 102 head sculpt. I actually forgot that I have already, uh, I dug out this head sculpt so that I could make it like interchangeable if I wanted to. So I do that with a lot of head sculpts so I don't have to keep heating them up. So there you go. You got that head sculpt on there. Now all we have to do, we're going to remove the hands already. You might as well just go ahead and remove the hands. Let that like get a little bit stiff. So there we go. So we have our Seth Rollins ready to go. All we have to do now is switch out the lower leg knee pad right there. And we're only going to heat up the right leg. Make sure that uh, if you're inner switching, you know, an open knee pad, make sure that it is the right knee pad. That way you know, oh, I don't like that paint scuff right there. That's not enjoyable, Brad. And that's the right one too. I need to clean that real quick. All right, I think we're ready to go. So we're going to take our extra Rollins part slide them over to the side right here i think this is still the right make sure it's right yeah it is the right one so we're going to keep this off to the side we're going to now slide the knee pad the sr knee pad we're going to slide this up because if you you would say you know why don't you just pop the kick pad off and slide it on well brad there's going to be a little hinder lip right here you see where it articulates that little lip right there will prevent it from coming off cleanly and you will i've snapped many a knee pad doing that bullshit right there so you do want to you know straighten this out get it like that get the leg in the zone right there and we're going to heat that up remove that lower leg slide that knee pad off slide this knee pad on reattach the leg and then fix these hands
All right, that should be good enough. If we're freaking champions of the world, we'll be able to switch it, and then, Jesus Christ, this tripod is just... Bro, if I don't get a new tripod, I'm gonna lose my damn mind. Anyways, we're gonna try and get it all in one take. So you see there, you pop off the... Oh, my God, the knee pad's on fire. So there we go. We slide that knee pad off. We get the other knee pad, and we slide it on just like so. And then we're going to slide this up a little bit as high as we can because you don't want the knee pad getting stuck in between there when you're putting the lower leg back on. Go ahead and get that in position. Jesus Christ, it's so freaking hot, Brad. Good Lord in heaven. And now it's wanting to be a whore bag. Good Lord, what in the hell? Oh, there's a little freaking piece of garbage trying to interfere with my surgery, Brad? You're trying to interrupt Dr. Whitekiss while he's going to work? And bam, just like that. So we did get it in one take. You love to see that. You don't want to sit here all damn day and do this. So we got it in one take. Now the freaking knee pads up in the leg. That's what you don't want. Then it's all grindy and stuff. And there we go. So bam. Excellent. Got that knee pad switched out. Now it looks pretty much just like Seth Rollins' attire except for a few details. All right, guys, now for the finishing touches on this Seth Rollins figure. All we have to do is take our gloved hand and pop it into these interchangeable hands because, you know, the Elite 64 Rollins has interchangeable hands. So there you go. You got your black glove on that side looking pretty perf so far. And then you have the option over here. You can give him the taped hand, which is like so, which is literally what he looked like on Monday. Just like that. Or you can use this one that looks more like a fingerless glove, which is probably more of what it looked like. So you can use that one, which has that. Or you can use the Dolph Ziggler hand, which is probably a little bit too dark for the Rollins, but it still works, and you have that look right there. Or you can just go uh, the normal route and use a regular hand, which would look like this. And there you go. So there is our 2020 updated Seth freaking Rollins. We put our AOPP with it. And there you go. You got your AOP. You got your other AOP. You got the AOP, Authors of Pain, right there. And now we have... Let's go ahead and back this hoe up. Get out of my freaking way, boy. Scoot this back. I'm so sick of the tripod. I'm so sick of the tripod. I'm so sick. So now... We have our 2019 Rollins, and we have our 2020 Rollins. But that pretty much does it for our tutorial, guys. We completely made the Seth Rollins. I think it looks great. I mean, I'm really pleased with the outcome. I think it looks excellent. You know, besides, again, some minor details, like the belt's not completely accurate. The, uh, you know, he does have some details on there that are, like, shiny and stuff like that. But for the most part, I don't think you can beat this. You know, this is a great placeholder for an updated Seth Rollins until we get one from Mattel. I think it looks excellent. I like this head sculpt choice. I like the gloved look and everything like that. Can anybody tell me why he only rocks one glove? Is it just to look a little bit different or what's that about? I would really appreciate it if he would just go back to two gloves. I would love to see that return. He looked like 2014 and 2015. I would love to see that happen. But I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Let me know down below what you think of the 2020 Rollins and let me know down in the comment section below if you did this as well. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me Instagram and Twitter at my name toys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.